Hi, this is Nancy Bergen reporting for Bass City Beat, and I'm here in downtown Mount Clemens where the city takes the leading edge on installing brand new security cameras in the downtown area. A lot of the uh, uh, owners of bars and restaurants were concerned about some of the safety factor, factors and wanting to know how we can enhance the police presence in and around the area. So we came up with this idea and thought, you know what, what if we added some cameras that had the very same technology that our road department was using, patch that directly into the Sheriff's Department for real-time viewing and for the capabilities of recording as well. It was for a couple of reasons. One is, of course, the city um, has financial issues, so we can't put more police officers on the road. And with the technology that's out there nowadays, uh, this was a great route to go, and since it's not costing anything to the city to put the cameras in, um, this is ab absolutely going to help, hopefully, deter some of the you know, crime if anybody's thinking about anything downtown. Well, it's very helpful. Um, you know, the type of activity that our deputies are seeing in and around that downtown area, especially on the weekends with the bar traffic and, and just the amount of people that are coming down there and, you know, our resources being limited, we needed another option and the cameras are the way to go. Again, if we can't be there, it's being monitored, it's being recorded. In case there is an incident, then we're able to look back, hopefully identify a suspect, make an arrest, get some property back, hold somebody accountable for the crime. Um, also, the other aspect is that if there's an incident that's called into our dispatch center, it's real time. Our dispatchers can click on the camera, see the area, see what's going on, and provide our responding deputies uh, first-hand information for their safety and the safety of those in the area. These are digital cameras. They're, they're using an H.264 compression. We have three of them downtown, and they're streaming live video to a uh, recording, and we're recording all of this uh, full time. And they're all full uh, pan, tilt, and zoom, or PTZ is what we call them. Um, and so we can zoom in on anything or move to, to wherever the, the action is. We can also set these up on what we call a tour, so it can look at different locations on a regular uh, basis. But this is all being recorded. So the biggest question was, and the immediate question was, how do you fund something like this? And uh, back at the time when I was a sheriff, coming back talking to Tony and uh, Ken Lagerquist, uh, we came up with this thought, there's uh, money available through forfeiture funds, meaning uh, drug dealers uh, that have caused some problems in and around the area of Macomb County. And uh, utilization of those funds, what better way than to put those in an operational capacity to purchase the camera and to patch it into the dispatch center of the sheriff's office. And so that is what we started moving forward and uh, migrating toward. These security cameras are going to be placed throughout the downtown area in places such as Walnut, Macomb, and New Street, and as well as in some of the parking lots. Those in surrounding areas in downtown Mount Clemens will be on watch 24-7. Well, I think it's great. As a, you know, as the sheriff, it's another tool, it's a resource that we're able to use. I mean, our goal is to protect people, and if we can't protect them and something bad happens, at least have a tool that we can hold somebody accountable and make an arrest, and it's giving our personnel that extra, that tool. Thank you to the Macomb County Sheriff's Department and the Department of Roads for always looking for smart, new and improved ways to keep the downtown area a fun, safe, and secure place. For Bass City Beat, I'm Nancy Bergen.